is a smooth, powerful turn at the bottom of the wave where you gain vertical energy from dropping the wave and transforming that to horizontal energy when turning at the bottom in a way that provides you the proper speed and direction for a maneuver on the wave. A bottom turn is usually the first turn you perform after you have taken off on the wave. It's one of the most important techniques to learn in surfing because it sets up every maneuver you want to do on the face of the wave. Different types of bottom turns. A shallow bottom turn is used to sweep yourself diagonally to the face of the wave. Minor bottom turns are commonly used on waves with softer shoulders. Deep bottom turns are generally used for more advanced maneuvers. To do that turn, surfers ride further down the bottom of the wave to then rotate with commitment towards the top of the wave. It is a tighter turn and the surfer goes more vertically up the wave instead of across. When we explain how to do a good bottom turn, we like to explain it using our five steps. Step number one is position and speed. To get the best speed, take off at the peak of the wave or as close to the peak as possible. The peak is the first breaking part of the wave. This will provide you with maximum speed and put you in the best position for a good bottom turn. Second step, compress. As you go down the face of the wave, bend your knees and compress your lower body to get balance and control over your board. Third step is rail game. To start your bottom turn, crunch even lower with your back knees slightly tucked inside. Your weight should be distributed on both feet equally and you should be looking in the direction you want to go on the wave. By digging the inside rail at the bottom of the wave, the water flow hits your surfboard's bottom with power, propelling you towards the shoulder with lots of speed. You need to lean your body forward to bring extra weight onto your toes. Reaching your tailing hand down towards the wave can help you lean. This hand can also serve as a pivot point for your board's rotation to the top of the wave. Fourth step is pressure on the tail and body rotation. Once you start turning up towards the face, apply more pressure on the tail with your back foot. More pressure on the back foot and more rotation of your hips and chest will translate into more advanced, sharper and faster turns up towards the top of the wave. Step number five is decompress. As you go back up the face, decompress by slightly unbending your knees and lifting your chest in a straighter position. There are two different types of bottom turns, a front side and a back side bottom turn. A front side bottom turn means that the surfer is facing the wave with his chest when turning at the bottom of the wave. And when doing a backside bottom turn, the surfer's back is facing the wave as he turns at the bottom. The backside bottom turn is very similar to the front side bottom turn except for a few differences. The first steps are the same. You need to compress low and look where you want to go and start with equal weight on both feet. The difference is, when doing a backside bottom turn, it will be harder to see the shape of the wave than on the front side bottom turn. So make sure when you do a backside bottom turn that you look over your front shoulder. And instead of leaning forward, you will need to lean backwards to put more weight over your heels. You can reach back towards the wave with your front hand to open your body in the direction of the wave. Our biggest tip to be a pro at bottom turns is simply just practice a lot. People work on their bottom turns for years and years. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-to videos in the future.